Hey, it's Ajlal, and in this video, I'm going to show you how Content Gorilla AI works. See, it's coming up to almost three years since we released Content Gorilla, and with over 9,000 users, this time Content Gorilla goes artificial intelligent. Now, the basic idea behind Content Gorilla has always been the ability to take a YouTube video and convert it into a blog post. With the AI version, we have maximized that. And I'm gonna show you that right now, how. See, in the inside the Content Gorilla dashboard, you can come and search for literally any niche, any keyword, and it's gonna fetch results from YouTube and give you related content. Now let's say I wanna write something about NFTs. And let's say I want it to be a Gary V video, right? Let's just go ahead and search that. Uh, let's say I'm gonna go with this one, and in just one click, Content Gorilla converts this video into a blog post that is ready to go as is. And since it's converted from YouTube videos, the plagiarism level on this thing is there's a very low chance that it's even plagiarized, right? But the, the amazing thing about the artificial intelligence system that we have just introduced is the fact that you can either completely or partially rephrase this and you can even write content even in the voice of Gary V himself in just one click. Let me show you how that works. So, Let's say, let's just, you know, make it look a bit neater. Let's give this a twin tag. Let's, let's write, let's ask the, let's ask the artificial intelligent engine what an nft is and to do that all i have to do is select this particular selection and as you can see this tooltip appears you click on the right content for me and here, here's the best part see you just you can either explain this professionally in a casual tone or you can even specify who's voice you want this content written in and in that what what happens is it gives you the ability to completely match whatever is being said in your videos and i'm, I'm going to show you that in just a second but well, let's go ahead and say that i want this content to be in a gary venus voice right let's go ahead and submit that now how this artificial intelligent engine works is it has consumed 10% of the entire internet, right? So it knows a lot about a lot of people. So anyone who is kind of famous, this engine can easily write about them, about in, in the voice basically, right? And as you can see, it just generated me a few words and and, and like, it's completely going to be in the voice of Gary V, right? So that's that's the coolest part about it. But let's say that I don't want the content to be in Gary V's voice. So let's say I want to write a little bit about about it in someone else's voice, say Will Smith perhaps. I'm gonna type whatever I want to run inside, you know, whatever I want the AI engine to write for me about, and we're just gonna go ahead and tell it to write it in perhaps Will Smith's voice. And as you'll see, the voice that they're now using is, that the artificial intelligence now uses is Will Smith's. In fact, let me let me actually show you 
something amazing, right? Let's go ahead and um, say, ask it to write in Ryan Reynolds' voice. And for those of you that are not aware of who Ryan Reynolds is, he's the actor that plays Deadpool, so he's very um, sort of humorous, right? And now look at this. Now, what it wrote was in my own brain. So, for the people that don't know what NFTs are, right? Non fungible tokens. These are one of the great parts about the whole crypto space, the blockchain space. Satoshi's white paper is that it was the first day the signature that you couldn't counterfeit. So, think about what that means. You could make digital art that no one can counterfeit. So, all of us said art gets its value from scarcity. And so, the block blockchain allows you to do that. So, now you, we're going to see artists for the first time ever create art digitally. The great artists, they never did before. So you're going to sell the little art, you're going to actually take your phone, you're going to buy it, it's going to go on your phone, you're going to walk home and you're going to throw it up on a giant screen and you're like, that's mine. So just notice how the tone changed, right? And like, this definitely seems like something Ryan Reynolds would say, because considering how non-serious of an actor do he have. So that's the good part about the AI. It will actually write in any one famous that you specify in their particular tune and that's that's just the very basic level the opportunities here are endless you can inarguably do things that you could never do before right and this is just one part perhaps the biggest part of content gorilla ai there are, there's going to be more about it on the when you scroll down below on a space but I think you get the entire idea, right? So, to, to create an article that is completely unique, is originally inspired, and then written in someone who is very famous in, in their voice, basically. That is all that you can do with Content Gorilla AI at its very basic level. Now, once you have this article ready, you can go ahead and you know, do all sorts of amazing things with it. Like you can add headlines, you can, um, you know, do all of the traditional stuff that you can do in a, in any editor. Then you can even save this as a draft and come back to this post later to, you know, make it, refine it more. You can copy this to clipboard and take it over any way you want. You can download it in either text format or a PDF format and publish it any way you like. You can also add images from our inbuilt image search, right? This uses basically um, pixels as the, which is inarguably the biggest picture, the image stock photo library. And as you can see, even the images are related. It has this Gary V wallpaper, right? So yeah, that's what you can do at the very basic level. Plus we have a whole host of amazing features like keyword auto hyperlink which allows you to hyperlink a particular keyword on your entire website then you can come here and change the featured image by default we use the thumbnail image then you can add your own tags and stuff to it to you know, help google rankings and then syndication you can basically syndicate your posts onto your facebook pages and groups in just a, you know by just checking this box and then finally you can publish your blog post onto your wordpress website in just one click and it automatically gets syndicated onto your social media channels with the link so that really helps with social media rankings as well so that's pretty much how content gorilla ai works and that's what we do at the very core now there's going to be a complete feature by feature breakdown below on this page so make sure you scroll through and see everything about content gorilla and everything that is new in this version and i'm going to see you on the inside